And uh, I'm going to see how I do. Um, oh, my God. All right, then. Um, I roll a one. What is that? Uh, I believe... Isn't that like you automatically succeed or something? Oh, no, I don't remember. It does something special. I can't remember. Okay. And I don't see anything about a one, actually, except for maybe it is an automatic. Maybe I'm missing it. All the Pendragon fans yeah. out there are making fun of me. But anyway, whatever it is, um, I just uh, made a success on my... Cool. Uh, I get it. So that's... Um, it's kind of tricky. It's a... I guess, okay, so since I had a 16, I, I needed an 11 or less or mm -hmm. a 21 or less. So basically, I've succeeded in my attack and my defense. Oh. Right, so the question is whether you're going to live through this particular sword strike. Yes. Let's see if that happens. If so, I may have a chance Right. disembowel. Mm -hmm. And it's nowhere near as good a roll as before. It is a 16. Um, okay, well then I take and that has no uh that does have a chance of knocking me down though. My size is only fifteen. Cool. Um do I roll but that's the winners and losers phase. Do I roll to attack before yeah, we uh, do not well, no we have to see how it we have to see whether you're unconscious. That's basically it. Oh okay, yeah, I am you're conscious. Not, you are conscious and let's and I think it's fair to check for knockdown. I mean after all, that does seem fair. All right, I rolled a nine, and my dex is thirteen, so I am on my. In that case, I've done, and I've done a little damage to you, haven't I? Or yes, not? I have now in. Um, I took six. Yeah. Right. So I'm now at six in total HP. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're you basically do I do get in a blow as as I get up, right? But not enough to stop you, and you are gonna do some heinous damage to me, right? Yes. Well, hopefully, we'll see what happens. Oh, I rolled a two. That is successful. Mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, but that is, is that's higher than your defense because you rolled a one, right? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, but no, no, okay, that so. doesn't matter. These attacks are separate. Oh, they're separate. Okay, well yeah. then I succeed. But during the, uh, the the berserker attack means I get a free hit, success or fail, and then you get a free yeah. hit, success or fail. Gotcha. Um, cool. So, uh, so damage on me, I guess, right? Yeah. All right, 9, 13, 17, 20 total damage. 20 total damage. Um, and actually, that's not going to do very much to me at all because my shield yeah. my shield counts because I did a success. That's right. So therefore, that's uh, actually 18 points. So I'm only going to take a bit, and I don't have to. So I just take a scratch after all that, right? Um, Gambit, so no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm on. So basically, there's been been a very dramatic exchange, and a lot of blood is sprayed all over the place, right? Yeah. Um, but now we're both on our feet and sort of sussing each other out. I think mm -hmm. so. It's kind of a um, things of you know. We're, I started at 28 hit points. I'm down to 15. You started at what? I started at. Sorry, let me bring it up. I started at 29 hit points. I'm down to 16. Right. So we're pretty much equivalent at this point. Yeah. Close. Um, and so, uh, but we're both, you know, knocked ourselves. But we're both kind of at half hit points, roughly. Um, mm. Yeah. Knocked each other around. One of us has been knocked down. Um, but uh, but at this point, you know, things are, are looking dicey a bit. The question now is to bring in another... Uh, I mean, we could just be talking about the combat maneuvers, in which case I know what I'm going to, I'm going to try something. Um, mm. But there's also the question of passions. If you want to suddenly say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got a passion. I, so have, there's, I have six followers, which might be well, that's a trait. energetic. That's a trait, not a passion. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Well, if you're a Saxon, I hate Saxons. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Let's use that. You can. Sure. Uh, I, I'm, I know what I'm going to do, which is a particular combat maneuver, and you can bring in the hate Saxons, right? Cool. So, um, so how do I? 
Well, the way it works, first of all, you got a dice value, right? Yeah, 15. Um, now, the selected skill is either doubled for a critical success passion roll or plus 10 for a normal success. Um, and it actually lasts like for a day, so you'll get it for the rest of the fight. Oh, nice. And, um, and then the, the, so the value, I mean, you're going to roll that value 15 or less, I believe. And mm -hmm. then the, uh, the interesting question is then whether it goes up or down, but we handle that later. Gotcha. Right. So the passions changing their values, we will do differently. Um, so, let's well, I failed at my hate. Oh, I you failed, failed at your passion. Okay. Bummer. Yeah. Um, because that probably oh, would have turned the tide. I think it might have. Yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do. It is not feeling me. Yeah. In this case, though, I'm going to use this funky tactic. Um, and it's a, um, it's a double feint. It's a way to confuse you and to get more damage. Um, yeah. and so the way it's done, before making the usual opposed roll, the character must attempt a dexterity roll. Okay as modified by armor and stuff. And I don't know what armor does to my dexterity, but I, I... Mine's up minus, this is minus 10, is that right? Really? Okay. The user may be mount, okay. A successful dexterity that should damage be done, the opponent's armor is halved. Oof. Yeah. If it's a critical, then all armor is ignored. Um, I really don't want to just do this to you without knowing about that modification. Ah, here it is. Encumbrance, whether for armor or other heavy items, is not used to modify a dexterity roll for balance. So we're good. We haven't misused that. Um, oh. Once knocked down, right, brawling, climb, dodge. Double faint. This includes the double feint tactic, which requires a dexterity roll. Normal modifiers for encumbrance and footing apply. Well, that's brutal because that means that my dude has a dexterity of 12. So that means I'd have to roll two or less. Ooh, no, I get it. Bummer. I kind of wanted to do that. That seemed like a nasty thing to do. So you have to be like insanely dexterous to do this or be wary yeah, of that armor, basically. Yeah. So you can't, it's just not something you do with, you know, plate armor and a broadsword. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, fair enough. I guess I'm screwed on that one. In that case, I shall. What, oh, let's see if there's any other nasty things I can do in here. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm standard. I don't know what you're doing. You're doing something interesting. You're doing, you're using... You failed to use a passion, correct? Correct. Okay, so I guess we're just sword on sword. It's going to be the grind yeah, so. after all. And I think this one might be, a, it has a chance to be decisive. Though. Say it um, again, please. I said, I think this round does have a chance to be decisive, though, because oh, I'm it does. pretty yeah. close. Yeah. 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 All right. I succeeded with a 13. I have succeeded with a 10. So you okay, have so. a higher value, right? Yes, so. but you get your shield. Uh, but I do get my shield, yes. Okay. Not a high roll. Oh, not a high roll. Oh, not a high roll. Uh, 11. 11 Eleven damage. Total? Oh, God. Anything, too. No, no <laughs> I, I, I passed that one off pretty easy with even without my shield. So, um, no. so okay, yeah, there's a, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, scrape, scrape, bang, bang on, on armor yes. and shield. And, um, the, and, and I do not get uh a chance it's have you noticed that there's no only in uh the only in the the berserker tactic is mm -hmm. there a chance for them to hurt each other right otherwise it's presumed that somebody's going to get it in while not getting hurt so, right 
Um, so that's something. Um, okay, so I think that clears right there. Um, and uh, you want to try something interesting? I want to do a berserker on you and see what happens if you do a berserker on me. Okay, Let's how do we decide who goes first? Um, in a fight between two berserkers, the character with the highest movement rate attacks first. Cool. My movement rate is three. My movement rate is three. If the movement rates are tied, the highest dexterity goes first. Dex 13. Dex 12. All right. Yeah. Let me try to get, get something in on you. I'm, I miss. I'm rolling very high today. Good luck. Or any bad luck. But. Okay. This time, <laughs> yes. This time I have hit. So both of All us, right. both of us assess our situation. Oh. Both of us decide to go for it and scream horrible things at each other and just charge, right? And so, I'm going uh, to my what's that? I'm going to feign my hatred of Saxons if I can summon my passion and just go berserk. Right. right. <laughs> and so then um, we have. So I've. Oh, wait, I get a plus ten. Wait, so I get a plus ten, right? Yeah, we both. Get I got a plus. Ten. Yeah. Oh, then I did hit. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, um, let's finish up. They both are unopposed, so I have no defense. So just go ahead and roll. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, 9, 11, 15 damage. Not great. 15. Um, so that, I don't think, you know what, since we're berserk, I'm going to say the shield just doesn't apply. That just doesn't Actually, apply. I don't, I, could you look up how crits work with mods? Because I might have crit, so that might be double. If you rolled and your plus, which is 10, put you at 20 or over, it's a critical. 20 or over? Yeah. So I rolled an 18. Oh, yeah. Well, you have, that means you rolled a 28, which is a critical. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, so, that can, case, uh, so that means uh, the damage you do, well, how, you, how much damage did you do? I did 16. Okay, so is that 32? I think so, yeah. Yep. 32 points of damage, and my shield doesn't count because it says there's no opposition. Shield is sort of the quintessence of opposition, if you ask me. So um, mm -hmm. let's see. So 32 minus, I take 20 hit points. Um, and so that I have 15 left, and so I'm going to go down. Nice. Right. So cool. that, so the, what told the tale in this was the fact that you had one dexterity higher than me right <laughs> because that's what that's what puts that that's what did the job on the um yeah. on the berserker um so uh so cool that is so no. mm -hmm. i can see i can see a little bit of why people rape about pin dragon yeah um notice the role of passions in there I mean, you rolled, I mean, you had a 75% chance. It was a pretty good passion roll, you know. So, yeah. um, so you can see that, that using passions in there is kind of a, a, kind of a thing. Um, note that it's kind of impossible for things not to get resolved. Yeah. Um, and Something. That, and and, and it, it reminds me a little bit, there are games where you have a pretty good survival buffer of hit points to start. Mm -hmm. But once you're down, you, but you pretty quickly you get to the point where you're worried. Yeah. You know, there's so you're not too worried about taking a hit right away, but whoever does take the hit first is more worried than the one who didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, and I, I, found it, it, I felt I felt anxious from the very beginning about oh, yeah. whether or not I was um, going to start to get just smashed into the ground. Um, there are a couple of other interesting points. I mean, there's there's more options if we were on horseback or if terrain had something to do with it. Say if there was some swamp there or something, and you know, yeah. one of us tried to like, you know, I don't know if there's a way to maneuver another character into the swamp. Um, the 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 nuances of footwork don't really seem to be involved much. Mm -hmm. So, um, so so far so good. Kind of a look yeah. at that. Um, 